Kiko are back with new items, Summer 20 Glow. Let's see if they're nice or if they're... Ooh. Hey everyone, Brana here, welcome to my channel. So continuing with their 20 years worth of celebrations, Kiko are back with new items. This time around they're called Summer 20. Everything to make your skin glow and shine in the summertime and celebrate it ahead of summertime and i decided to pop over as usual and buy some of their stuff i didn't get all the products they had because some of them i just couldn't do anything with their colors they have got a range of stuff now it comes in this cute bag that they gave oh don't you just like it it is so cute i really like this anyway um and they have some powder blushes uh they had two um yes i think they had three different ones none of them were right for me at all but they were very pigmented so they were just too pink they were just wouldn't have done anything for me so if you have lights lights very light skin or you have very very fair do have a look at those they're very well pigmented they also had some bronzers and again they were just too pale for me couldn't do anything for me so i didn't buy those either and they had a range of lipsticks as well which you actually use on your cheeks but I wasn't too sure about those colors either. And on top of that, I've just recently bought a whole lot of lip stuff. So I really didn't need any lipstick. So I had to leave those alone. Um, but what I did get um, is the, this one, which is the Summer um, Highlighting Drops. Uh, and they had two different shades, one more pink and the other with this one, which is golden. Um, and I bought that as well. You can use them all over your body to make, make yourself glow. <sighs> Feeling hot, hot. Anyway, next one would be this one. These are the eyeshadows uh, with the wand, which make them very easy to apply all over your eyelid. They had four colors, I believe. The, this one is the golden one. Uh, which is what I'm wearing here and you'll see the demo later on and they'll also have other colors and there was a bluish one which is very pretty which I will go back and buy um, but I wanted to test this one out they also have a mascara which looks very interesting very very thin and I thought look at that this one should be able to reach every little corner and that's the mascara that I am wearing boom 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 boom, boom. and uh, I'll come a bit closer forget the red eyes Boom. and that's the mascara and also they have also the eyeliner which is what i'm wearing here see that and finally what i also bought from them was the ph uh, lip enhancer which is meant to take the color of your own lips and enhance them and make them look really pretty i'm wearing it make up your own mind anyway let's get into the demo and see but before anything else like subscribe comment and please get involved i prefer your comment more than anything else um, and it makes it feel more like a community but uh, yeah it's up to you but let's get into the video all righty let's start off with the first item which i purchased which is this um hopefully you'll be able to see it says here basically it's the highlighting drops in the color golden shell they have two different kinds one of them is more of a pink tinge that was obviously not right for me uh, i did swatch it in store uh, but this is obviously the first time i'm opening it just so you can see and i hope that you can see the detail so that's my hair my arm there so just so i can swatch it to just basically drop a little bit of that there like so um and then just rub it in and see what effect it, it does have now it's actually doesn't feel oily at all um yeah so there's no kind of that kind of oily film which i really hate when it comes to summer glow stuff and uh, you know and pigmented oils and so on it just i don't like the uh, the film of the oil left afterwards so you can see there's like a glow see that i mean there's a difference there's my no more you can see the glow there so it's very subtle it's not anything that's going to be dramatic but actually when i did see it when i swatched it in store with the light from the sunshine you really do get a kind of a tiny 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 golden flecks and i like the fact that um it's not overpowering so this is something that you would actually put all over especially around here mm -hmm. if you're wearing one of those uh either low cat or uh if you've got um 
you know, uh, sleeveless. But yeah, so it's very, very subtle. You can see a little bit of it there as well. Um, so it's not going to be anything overpowering. It's very mild. So that's the, these are the golden drops and I do like them. That's what I can say. I like these. Um, anyway, after that, swatching that one, uh, let's move on to the next item that I actually got, which is going to be this one here, which is the um, eyeshadow stick. Um, and I'm going to apply that, but before I do so, I'm going to do just a little, this one is in the color, let's have a look, number one, uh, which is more like a gold type. Um, yeah, so it does look very, very bright, but we're going to apply that. So before end, let's get the eye sorted out and apply some, uh, um, eye base, which is the Max Soft Ochre for long wear pot. And yeah, so I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids. Okay, the eye has been primed and as you can see, I've already done that one eye, sort of done it off camera, but not finished it off. It saves time. Um, I'm just going to go in. It's a very easy, quick look. And this one is just on, not only these about three shades. I'm going to take the, from the um, Urban Decay uh, Nocturnal palette. I'm using the gold here. And this one is actually very flesh toned. And I'm also using the brush that came with the palette. So for the first time I'm using it. Um, and I'm just going to apply that. And uh, this is a more like a light brown with a touch of golden uh, and orange attached to it. So it's very warm. And I'm just going to apply that all over this area as a transition and the base color. I've brought you a bit closer, so that colour is in. Now we're just going to move on to the next one here, which is a dark brown. And just going to dab that in. Now there is quite a bit of fallout with this. This is a very, very chocolate, very dark. Right? Let me just demonstrate that look. See that? Very dark. And we're going to concentrate it on the outer edge. But I'm also going to eventually bring it down halfway across my eyelid why because my because of my big eyes the more the dark color um, there is of the darker shade there is the smaller you can make your eyes look the brighter the color the more it takes off most of it takes up most of your lid the larger you make your eyes appear and since my my eyes are already large I don't need to actually make them look any bigger so I'm just uh, concentrating most of the color in that shade in the corner here at the edge as you can see, I will make it neater later on. That's in place. Now I'm just using the other end of the Urban Decay brush. I'm dabbing it onto the brown. And I'm just going to use that underneath the eye to smoke it out. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go back in and dab into this light brown here. And just bring that underneath just to make it less harsh and do that with both eyes so this is a, the actual item itself the eyeshadow and that's the wand um, and this is in the color number one as I said uh, now it is very very bright gold Woo! okay normally not something I would normally go for because it's a bit bright but you're just applying that now consistency wise it's not too thick or too thin but you do have to be careful how you apply it so that it is kind of smooth and not patchy as you can see so you have to really the best way to do it as i can see now is to glide it nice and slow and as i say that i'm getting the rest on my nose <laughs> and yeah so just glide that and then I'm just doing this so that I can sort of blend it in so it's not such a sharp finish. I'll use a brush. Now we just got to see whether it's more effective to let it dry and then try and blend that in. Um, and yeah, so let's see if it's easier to blend it in because I'm sure this area, let's see if it's dry. Not quite yet, but we'll try and see whether we can because it didn't give any instructions or whether you need to wait for it to dry first or not so just going to blend that in and see whether it works 
not bad actually it is so you can easily blend that in so that's what I'm going to do what's what I'm going to I can't speak today <laughs> brain's dead so anyway blend 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 and it's very easy to blend um right so as you can see it dries out fairly quickly but it does take a good 30 seconds or about or minute they're about to dry out and I'm just going to see show you this side here and how easily you can actually blend it in as you can see quite easy so you don't have to struggle um, yeah so we're just gonna smooth, smooth it all out now mix thin and you can see again I've done one eye and I to try and cut down the time now what I'm using now is the Stila eyeliner um, mm, what are my thoughts about it now this is normally the easiest eye and I know what other people say don't hold your eye but I know what my eyes are like if I don't hold my eyelid then I'm never going to get the line right at all so I have to hold my on pull pull my skin because there's a lot of skin and when you get mature that's what happens I add that to the fact that you've got big eyes I, do you know what I don't normally do my eyeliner at this end here so this is going to be really something else really good you do have to put it at an angle in order for you to be able to glide it across the eyelid as to the pigment as you can see for yourself no it's not i suppose it's not the most pigmented inglot one is black 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 but you do have to apply it several times i believe as you can see here before you can get the real color payoff so with regards to it uh, i think this should have been the application should have been a lot softer this part should have been a lot softer more pliable that will make it easier to apply the makeup or oh, sorry the eyeliner so as you can see from this end oh god you know what this is why i hate doing it on, on camera because i always mess it up it's unbelievable honestly but uh, anyway we'll just carry on as we were with regard to this pencil it isn't there's a difference they're not the same typical you can thicken the line a bit more but then nah this is not the easiest one i think it is a bit too stiff to be honest it needs to be a lot softer the easiest part where is when you're applying the flick at the end but to be honest when you're trying to apply this all over the eyelid it's not the the best i'm sorry that's my experience really uh, pigment wise let me just apply that here so you can see so it does come out very very dark um but yeah they're not the same mm, typical but i know that if i try and attempt to do anything else they're just going to get worse and get and get worse and worse and worse i'll probably try and make sure that i do it a bit off camera normally when i apply my eyeliner i like for some strange reason standing up <laughs> i don't normally sit down when i'm applying it that's why you don't see me applying it on camera because i prefer standing somewhere else and doing it um but that's the eyeliner so let's forget about that for the time being and we're just going to move on to the next item which is the mascara and the mascara is quite interesting um because it's very different look at that that is the mascara wow okay and i've got this because it looks so different and i wanted to see whether i could have sorry sniveling and sniffing over there i've had a cold i can't get rid of it but let me see whether it actually reaches every eye eyelash and whether it is worth the money um, I'm not too sure if you're going to be able to see it on camera let's see you have to do it several times Ooh, you can see there so yeah see it does reach the hairs but you really have to play with her play with it in order to get them and that that's more like it hopefully you can see that i know it's not the best <laughs> camera wise 
but I think you can see the difference. I can. So I think this will be great for the bottom of the lashes. Let's actually try and see what it's like for top lashes, see if it does anything. Okay. The good thing about this is that actually it feels as if you've got far more control and you're less likely to get into, you know, you know, sometimes there are days when you just get mascara all over the place. Um, and this one, because of how thin it is, seems to have more control. So you see, yeah, it does work. But we'll go on and move on to the next item. I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face because the next one is the actual lip, which is the one I'm really excited about to try. So we'll see how that one works out. But I'll see you in a minute. I'm back. The rest of the face has been done. Now all I need to do is apply one more item, which is this baby here. Da, 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 da. And this is the, uh, P, uh, the pH Lip Enhancer which is meant to actually take the natural color of your lip, whatever it is. So I'm going to apply that now. Mm, get the lips ready. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, now you see them? Let's try it. Uh, I can actually see a change. Can you see that? Uh, I'm not too sure if it's one that I like, <laughs> but we shall see. It feels moisturizing, but no, that's how smooth is it I'm not sure about that I can see a slight change I'm not too sure that it takes a little while most likely can you see a difference only slightly especially more at the top end of the lip um, yeah well i'm not sure <laughs> whether that's meant to you know whether it takes a while or or not for it to go through uh, for it to change um but hmm, it's starting to actually settle so i have a feeling that it gets better as time goes by as it acclimatizes itself to your own skin tone and you know your, your the lips your color lips maybe it will come a bit better don't expect anything too dramatic with regards to colour. I don't think so. I think it will be more of a hint of colour rather than anything else. Um, but so far, what can I say? <laughs> I might change my mind later on. If I do, I'll update that and pin it at the top of uh, the comments. But to be honest, so far... Eh. <laughs> I really can't say it because I'm bleh, bleh. okay for now yeah so let's just recap out of all those items that I actually tried initially I tried the uh, drops which are these ones which is the uh, highlighting drops which you can put all over the place you can put it on your face actually because it is not oily at all this one i would buy i like it i don't i like summertime being able to have that glow without the oiliness that comes with it i hate it hate it so this is definite yes and there is another one with a pink tinge which maybe you can get away with using on your on your cheeks especially if you're a lot lighter or you're very fair um that would work out um the next one is the eyeshadow which is actually a lot more sedate than you initially would think when you first apply your thing Oh my God. Uh, well, I did anyway. But it is very easy to blend in with uh, with uh, matte shades as well. It dries fairly quickly. Between 30 seconds and a minute, it will dry. Um, and it is quite well pigmented. 
uh, but at the same time, not overpowering. And that's what I do like about it because I, yeah, I don't like it to be overpowering. So you can see, I'll come a bit closer. Nothing too overpowering at all. There, I've got other shades and the reason I kind of like a beautiful blue that I really, you know, I was thinking about buying, but I most likely will buy. Um, they've got four shades of those. Um, and that's, yep, so that's a yes for me. Um, the pH lip enhancer, pfft. yeah, yeah, never mind, move on. And the next item would be the, uh, I've left it somewhere else, the mascara, which I would say, if you are actually after mascara that doesn't actually clog up your, your and clumps up, clumps up your uh, eyelashes, this one really does work. You saw it earlier, it's quite thin, it's quite good for getting into every little corner. Don't expect anything amazing. That's what I'm saying. I could actually see that it separated the lashes. I like the fact that it's very, very neat. It doesn't clump them up. It doesn't clog them up. You don't get, you know, re residue of mascara left over. I like that very much. And the fact that you can reach every lash. But what I don't like is that it's not amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Well, now with regards to the eyeliner itself, it is very pigmented. You guys can see how pigmented this is. Actually, so I really do give that credit, and I do like them. I do like it. The only thing I don't like is the fact that where it is pointed, it's not as soft as it ought to be. It should be a lot softer so that when you do apply your eyeliner, it glides across very smoothly, and it makes life much much easier. But it didn't do that, so it's a bit stiff. However. It is very, very well pigmented. You can see how dark that is. That I really do like because there are some, and you can see still on my hand how pigmented that is. Whereas there are others where they will start off and you kind of swatch them there. When you apply them on the eyelid, um, it just like it, the color wears off. So out of the lot that I would buy would be those ones that the um, the eyeliner, the mascara, the not really um the uh, body shimmer that one i would buy as well and the actual eyeshadow as well which i will buy another color but as usual that's my honest opinion and you don't have to like it you don't have to agree with it you can go out there and do whatever you like that love you all and i will see you soon but for now thank you and bye bye